How's it going, folks? So I'm going to show you how to create a Ed puzzle. So from here, the first thing you want to do is go up here to My Classes. Click My Classes. Then you want to click Add New Classes on the left. As you can see, I've already created classes for Period 1, Period 2, and Period 4. Let's go ahead and just create a new class. So you have the option to sync uh, to your Google Classroom. I choose not to. I like to keep my specific tech uh, environments separate from each other. That way my gradebook doesn't get too confusing. So for now, I'm just going to teach you how to create a basic new class on Edpuzzle. Let's go ahead, type in the name of your class. I'll just put period five speech. And create class. So there you go. What you can do is you can click invite students and go ahead and either copy this code or you can copy the link. If you just click copy, it'll allow you to, let's see, paste the address bar. Yep, it creates a URL that you can copy and paste onto your Google Classroom. So once you have, say, your three classes that you're teaching already created on Edpuzzle, you can go ahead and just start searching for content. So what I like to do is I like to assign TED Talks, all right? So with Edpuzzle, essentially what you can do is take a video and insert response questions, either multiple choice, um, puzzle questions, or short response scattered throughout the video so that students must answer the question before they proceed through the video. So what this does is it ensures that students actually watch the whole video, but it also checks for understanding throughout the duration of the video. So these are really great for, uh, say, just intro warm-ups if it's a short three to five minute video, or it could even be as long as 20 minute video for homework. But these are really good tools to use in your classroom. So let's just say, who I don't know, bluegrass country music, that sounds fun. So as you can see, it's just a typical TED talk about bluegrass country music, right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down here to edit. So with edit, you could add voiceover, you could cut the video into sections, but that's kind of more advanced stuff. Play around with it. For now, I'm just gonna show you how to insert questions. So click questions up at the top and you get the choice of multiple choice, open-ended questions and notes. So go ahead, I'm just gonna choose multiple choice for right now. So right here, you can see that you could type in a question. So for instance, what is the instrument in the center? Uh, answer one, banjo. Answer two, drum guitar. All right, so obviously the answer is gonna be banjo. Click save. And there, you've got the question that you can drag anywhere in the video that you want it to be asked. And so as students come upon that question, right? It'll ask the question right here. So what is the instrument in the center? The banjo. And it won't show them the answer, obviously. So you can preset the answer so that it does the automatic grading for you for multiple choice. And then obviously, if it's a short answer question, you're gonna have to go through and grade the short answer questions yourself. So that's just a basic rundown of how to create uh, videos with questions in them. So let's go and take a look at assigning videos. So as you can see here, I've already created um, a couple videos, one of them from my uh, grade level partner. But let's take a look at, say, Christopher Emden. So Christopher Emden has questions scattered throughout it, right? So in order to assign this, what you're going to do is either, go back to content, my content. You're gonna check off the box next to your created videos and you're gonna click assign right here at the bottom. So once you click assign, it'll allow you to check off the classes that you would like to assign it to. Click assign. So once that's assigned, the students can go into your Edpuzzle classroom and they will see the video right there. Or, and this is what I like to do, you can click share assignment down here at the bottom and it'll give you a direct URL link that you can copy and paste into Google Classroom so that all students have to do is click this link and it'll take them directly to your Edpuzzle.
and it's got the questions scattered throughout it. I can't skip right now because this is the student version and it won't allow me to skip, right? So go ahead, use these tools in your classroom. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me, rhardwick at stocktonusd.org, and I will help you through this. Stay safe, folks.